What's up guys, it's your girl Zocha and welcome to my TED talk. Today we're gonna review the movie after because it sucked. <laughs> I can't show clips from the movie because um, copyright. So... Can you shut the fuck up? Thank you. I'll try to insert pictures of the people and maybe some scenes. Can you go you back on me? Ik ben een video aan maken. Siblings, am I right? Not even knocking before they go in. So I have a whole ass list of my opinion on the movie. Um, I'm also a little bit sick. I've been sick for the past week. The flu can literally go f and fuck themselves because <laughs> I've been sick in January, February, and it's now March, and it's the first fucking day that I haven't been sick. Oh, also, we stand a breakout. I've been literally sick for every month in 2020. 2020 be starting great! Yeah, anyway. So, the beginning of the movie is pretty good, but there's a scene where, um... Tessa, the main girl, and Noah, her boyfriend, were packing her bags. And for a second, I thought Noah was her brother. So I was so confused when they kissed. So then they go to her dorm in a new college. And um, her mom walks in on a girl vaping. And her mom's like, fuck, where did I send my child to? Ariana Grande who? So she was planning on making Tessa change room. But I get her point because um, she said it smelled like weed. There were people va vaping. And when she walked in, they were talking about a fake ID. Which are like three red flags for a mom. Also, um, her roommate is fucking hot. Also, Tessa's talking about her mother being very protective of her. Like, girl, is my mom a joke to you? Fun story, I was grounded for two weeks for uh, not closing the garage door. I don't think you have it that hard, Tessa. She um, goes back to her dorm, takes a shower, and then there's this weird English guy sitting on her friend's bed. And she asks him to leave because um, she only, she's only wearing a towel. The dude literally says no. Like something along the lines of, I'm not looking. Like, nobody cares. Go away. Like, have some respect, dude. So that's um, red flag number one. If he doesn't have respect for you, um, never date the fucking guy. Before he leaves because her friend's back, he looks at her like this. Like, hello, why are you checking her out while she's literally just wearing a towel? And um, then they're talking about going to a party or something. And this dude who's there is Harden, I think, the, the British guy, says, I could never see her partying. Like, trying to persuade her into going to a party, but like... And they're like, oh, I'm just being friendly, I'm just teasing, blah, 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 like, fuck off. And then she and her friend go to the party. Then comes red flag number two. Why is she partying on literally the first day of school? You know the Sarkin, uh, like a friend of Lele Paz is in there. And um, she's the Harden's girlfriend or hookup, I don't know. And there's this dude um with them chase like the dude is i think probably like 24 and he's hanging out with 17 year olds well inana says why did you find this girl like teasing um tessa to drink and tessa actually gives into it and drinks the freaking alcohol like that's like red flag number four um, then her boyfriend calls her and he's like, are you at a party? Are you drinking? Oh my god, are you duh? Like, dude, you don't need to be so protective of her. And then she goes to explore the house and finds uh, Harden's room. And the dude um, comes in. And then she almost kisses him. Because every movie is making cheating normal. Like, hello, cheating is not a good thing. You should not do it. And the main character ends up having a great life. Like, 
Hello? That's not how it's supposed to work. Also, I found out that this is a webpad book, what was made a movie. As a conclusion, fanfic movies suck. Then Harden brings her to a river or something and says like, come on, let's go for a swim, which is just basically language for I want to see you in your underwear. And when she was taking her clothes off, he peeked. Like, excuse you, um, red flag number four. Five, I think we're at. And also, why are there so many quiet scenes in the movie where they're just saying nothing? And then there's also like 20 awful montages. Like, hello, they were not needed. Then Tessa and this hardened dude kiss in the river. Like, Tessa, you have a boyfriend. And also on Harden's behalf, you, you know she had a boyfriend. I think she told him or something. Like, the audacity. Red flag number fucking six. So um, basically I hate both main characters. They're awful piece of shit. Also, then they go on a beautiful date or something like that. And then um, Tessa says like, um, maybe I should break up with my boyfriend because um, I don't want him getting in the way of us. And then the dude uh, Harden says like, I don't do dating or something. And then Harden gets mad when she gets back together with her boyfriend. Also, then they do a game with a paper. It's like Kiss or Blow, I think the name is. And then um, the chase dude, and then he does this. <sighs> like, oh wow, that was smooth. And then he's like, yeah, now you have to kiss me while her boyfriend is literally next to her. Second problem, why is he trying to kiss a minor? I'm sorry, am I just dumb or is this red flag number seven? Also, then um, her she goes to Harden's house because I guess it's weekend again. Her boyfriend breaks up with her, I think, because um, she hung out at Harden's place. She's crying and blah, 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 sets it said. Next day she moves on and then her mother comes back. And then her and Harden are trying to do the devil's tango in her bedroom. Like, you're in a shared door with no doors, no walls. The chance that your roommate walks in on you is pretty big. And also, I think that would be pretty traumatizing and you would have to pay for her therapist. And then her mother walks in on them. And then she says, uh, like, she forces Tessa to break up with him. But Tessa doesn't accept that because her mom has no right. So he comes back and she's like, what are these? And he's like, Tessa, do you trust me? Like, stop abusing your power, red flag number eight. She follows harder or something. And then Inara tells, um... Tessa, that this was all a dare. Well, and Harden's like, no, 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 please don't tell, please don't tell. And then she tells, and like, he's mad at Inara for telling it's a dare. Um, Tessa had all the right to be mad at him, but she wasn't. She's like, oh my god, I'm so mad at you. And like, the, literally the next day they're having sex. Like, and then um, Harden's like, he said, nothing could change the way you felt about me. He be abusing his power. This is red flag number um, 10 because the not telling the dare was also 9. So this is red flag number 10, abusing his power again. And then she talks to Noah and Noah forgive, forgives her. Like, no, she cheated on him multiple times. And he's still going to forgive her like that? And then um, she she uh, changes her major or something or a class, and um, then the teacher um, says like, when everyone left, like, hey, Harden left something at my desk, but I think it's for you. Like Harden, could you have not told her yourself that you're sorry? You really had to just write a letter, not talk to her in person. And then they meet at the water again and everything's fine. Okay, so my conclusion, Noah deserves better. The montages were shit. So that's my conclusion on why the movie's shit. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. Fun fact, there's corona in my um, country. So I um, hope school's closing now.
No school, I have more time to learn for my exams. If you want more um, movie reviews, just comment movies down below. Thank you for watching, I'll see y'all later. Good night!